The machine tool industry in Russia is constantly growing. For example, 2,000 more machines were produced in 2023 than in 2022. According to the operational information of Rostat, the socio-economic situation of Russia in 2023 continues to increase the production of machine tools in the country. In the metal cutting machine, 9,269 metal cutting machines were produced in 2023. This is significantly more than 7,221 machines a year ago, including in December 23rd, 945 machines were produced compared to 808 in December 22nd. Forging and pressing machines. In the 23rd year, 10,894 forging and pressing machines were produced. This is more than 11%, more than 9,790 in the year 22. Including in December 23rd, 847 MKPS were released. Woodworking machines after a severe recession in 2022, the production of woodworking machines began to grow at the beginning of 2023. The first month of growth was June 2023. Since August, Rostat has been reporting continuous production growth. In December 2023, 603 machines were manufactured. This is 116% more by December 2022. However, it has not yet been possible to catch up with the backlog. During the entire 23rd year, 7,145 woodworking machines were produced. This is 89% of what was done in the 22nd. Well. Then let's list the most interesting events from this industry for this year, the 24th. So, the Lipetsk Machine Tool Company has commissioned a new assembly shop. The workshop area is 5,000 square meters. This will double the production area of the enterprise. Grinding, drilling, and milling machines weighing up to 3 tons are assembled in the new workshop. The company has increased its production capacity by two times. The number of machines produced has also doubled in 2023. Now the company is confidently among the five largest Russian machine tool companies. More than 70% of the components of Lipetsk machines are made in Russia. This year, the LSSB celebrates its 20th anniversary. In 2004, 12 people started assembling their first machine. Now 180 employees work here. The plant's management plans to double the number of employees. The Russian Sasta machine tool plant, Sasovo, Ryazan region, continues to develop a project of heavy lathes with through-pass calipers. The new SA, 1800S, 130 heavy machine has been put into production. The machines have high rigidity and precision, and therefore are perfectly suitable for the production of large-sized parts such as body rotation. In such machines, the tool supports move along the rolling rails, and the tail stock and lunettes move along the sliding rails. This equipment is used at the enterprises of Roscosmos and the agro-industrial complex, that is, where the same rigidity and accuracy are needed. At the moment, the SA-1800, S-130, F-3 machine is in production which is in the process of being set up. The standholding of Rostec State Corporation has developed milling machines for aircraft engine building enterprises and the military industrial complex. Their mass production will be established at the facilities of one of the largest enterprises of the Sterling Talon NPO machine tool industry, which will produce up to 60 units of new models annually. The range of Stana equipment has been expanded with vertical milling centers WMB-63 and WMB-70. Both models allow drilling of parts, threading, rectilinear and contour milling, boring holes and grooves in them, and other operations. The WMB-63 5-axis machine produces complex, shaped parts with a diameter of 630 by 400 millimeters. Machining parts along five coordinate axes at once eliminates the need to reinstall the part on the work surface. This greatly speeds up the process and ensures high accuracy. The 3-axis center MB-70 performs power milling of workpieces up to 1400 by 700 and 700 millimeters in size from structural parts and alloyed alloys. Compared to the previous version of the machine, it has a reinforced structure and a more rigid frame, as well as greater energy efficiency. By 2030, more than half of the total volume of supplies to the Russian market should be provided by domestic manufacturers. To accomplish this task, Rostec's machine tool industry is systematically increasing production efficiency, speed, and volume of output. Next year, it is planned to launch serial production of new machining centers at the production site of the mill in Sterli Tamak. The plant's capacity allows to produce up to 30 units of each model annually. As part of the import substitution program, new machine models will be equipped with domestic components. The necessary components and assemblies will be produced at Stana's own facilities, including in Sterlitomak. Bed frames, chip conveyors, tilt turntables, tool magazines, cabinet parts, and upgraded cabinet protection. Prototypes of the WMB-63 and WMB-70 models, as well as key components and components of Stana, 
will be presented in May at the Metal Lubrabaca 2024 exhibition. Riazan Stanko Service sent two screw turning machines to the customer. The turning and screw cutting machine 1M63 is designed for turning operations in conditions of production in relatively small quantities or single production. The machine can perform external turning, boring, drilling, as well as threading, metric, inch, modular, and pitch. The machine is made according to the classical scheme. The bed is solid, cast, cast iron. The rigidity of the 1M63 structure allows the use of modern high-speed and carbide tools in the processing of ferrous and non-ferrous metals. High drive power and a wide range of spindle speed adjustment and feed ensure efficient processing of any materials. The Obakhoff plant has started production of Sand 3D Printer's Barcon 1200. The first two production samples have already been manufactured by the company for delivery to customers. The molds obtained using the printer can be used for casting steel, cast iron, non-ferrous materials, and magnesium alloys. Barcon 1200 is used to create single-use lithium molds and quartz sand and a binder resin act as raw materials. Creating a single shape on such a 3D printer can take from several hours to several days. But in 2025, the plant promises to start mass production of sand printers with a doubling of the printing speed. The 3D printer was developed directly by the Obakhoff plant, which is part of the Almaz anti-concern. The printer is powered by 380 volts. Its weight, excluding auxiliary equipment, is no more than 5 tons. The Barhan 1200 sand printer is capable of creating complex shapes, as well as helping production reduce waste and time in preparation for casting. The Obakov plant is steadily moving towards the use of additive technologies. In 2016, the Scientific Research Technological Center for Additive Technologies and Materials was established, which is now part of the Scientific Research Institute of Applied Material Science. As the Deputy Brilliant Director of the VCU Almasani Concern said, I quote, First we created the Helios 3D printer for the educational sphere, then the Loretz additive plant for manufacturing products from structural thermoplastic materials. At the moment, the company has mastered the production of Barhan 1200 sand printers. In the future, we plan to expand the range of additive machines and are ready to create 3D printers according to customer specifications. In particular, in 2025, serial production of sand printers will begin with a two-fold increase in printing speed.